What are you watching? With baby Marley around, Hurricane's first five Jackson Garden Bishop and partner Rosie are living the life lessons thrust on new parents. Don't tell me not to smile for TV. <laughs> Always wanted to be a dad. You have an idea of what it's going to be like and you, you go to classes, you read books, you read things online. But until you're in the trenches, like two in the morning, you sort of don't really understand what it's all about. And yeah, I'm just loving every minute of it, learning a lot. 25-year-old Jackson already knows a little too much about growing up quickly. He did it 11 years ago, when his mum Sue's brave battle with cancer ended. It was, it was tough. First couple of years I sort of just, I put some headphones on and, and blocked everyone out. I was really angry at the world, didn't try not to show it as much, but other than rugby I, I was um, not, not as social as I, as I am now. Some of the problems my friends were going through at that school, I just brushed that off and think, you're being an idiot mate, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So it put a lot of things into perspective at quite a young age. Jackson wakes up to a cherished reminder of his mum each morning. My mum was always awesome lady, so driven, so passionate about everything she was doing. It's tough because my main memories of her were after she got sick. She got sick when I was about eight years old, and through that time she was still an absolute trooper. She, she coached me pretty much all, all age trade rugby. Um, she was doing heaps of stuff with my brother and sister. Definitely didn't appreciate it as much how hard that would have been for her because she never batted an eye at it. All I saw was her giving us everything. And it wasn't just Jackson and siblings Georgia and Connor that Sue looked after. She was a pillar of North's rugby, coaching juniors at the famed Porirua club throughout her fight. A lot of talent out there, but there's a lot of kids that are in tough positions family-wise, so she had to be stern with them, but she also knew, knew where they were coming from, so she was really helpful, always available to pick people up, um, give them nice to training, you know, encouraging them through prizes and stuff. She also helped kids outside of the area. Where's mummy? He asked. Dad took a deep breath as Georgia and Jackson came in and sat on the bed. She's not well, said Dad. Last night, the doctor told us mummy had cancer and she has to stay in hospital for a while. Sue self-published a book. Who Will Tuck Me In helps kids through the challenges hers faced and remains one of the most popular at the Cancer Society. She snuggled up Connor in the blankets with his favourite teddy. She read him a story, then tucked him in and turned out the light. She must have been so tired, but, but she never showed it to us kids. Sue Garden Bashup's sporting achievements are also inspirational. She was an original black fern, as well as playing touch, hockey and basketball for New Zealand. She formed a sporting power couple with all-black husband Stephen and broke major barriers as a coach. Yeah, she was definitely a, a pioneer for women in rugby, I think. Obviously the first woman coach of a men's premier team over at North, so she was awesome and determined to make sure that something that she was passionate about, she loved playing rugby, that other women in her position would have the same opportunities and more opportunities, um, which they are getting now, which is cool. Do you think you'd be a pro rugby player if it wasn't for her? Oh, it's tough to say. The building blocks of my rugby were, were fundamentally from her. You know, Dad, Dad was always around, he's, he's a huge influence on my rugby, but in terms of the hands-on coaching in those junior grades, um, it, was, it was pretty much her, yeah. For you being coached by her, what was that like? You know, at the time it's like, sometimes it's like, oh, mum's coaching, it's, it's not cool to have your mum as the coach, but I'd give anything for her to be the coach now, so. Yeah, and she could have been. Oh, she would have been, I've no doubt. Um, you know, if she, if she had stayed healthy, she would have been, if not running New Zealand rugby, I'd say at this point, she, she was that type of person. I love you more than the stars, said Connor, and I love you more than ice cream, said mum. Connor giggled and shut his eyes. While Sue Garden Bashup's book ended, her legacy lives on. It makes me sad that Marley will never get to meet her. You know, I appreciate like, the 13 years that she was around for me, the, the values that she was able to instill in me. I'm remembering a lot of them now, or, or they're coming forward um, now, and I'm, I'm hoping to pass them on to my kids. She was special.